All right, this is part three. We've talked about discovery, development, and now we're going to deal with the third part, of course, which is delivery. Now, delivery is basically when you take what you've discovered and developed and you share it with the world. That's why it's called a gift, because it is meant to be shared to help people in every capacity possible. Now, there are some obstacles here as well. When we know what we have within us and we take time to develop it, to make it better, uh, to a degree where we're ready to show it to the world, the first thing that attacks us is doubt because it's a risk whenever you put yourself out there to do something. Whenever you say, I can do this well, I can do that well, and this is what I'm going to aim my life towards. Sometimes images of failure start popping up in our minds and we draw back and get scared. Now, sometimes the resistance uh, is not initial. We can be excited about it and we run out there and we want to show the world what we can do. And the response isn't the best response. And that can be discouraging. So we deal with number one, not wanting to go out there and take that risk of showing the world what we can do. If that's not the case, then we go out there and we do our thing and we're not getting the response or feedback we imagine, or it's not making the changes that we thought it would make. And that can cause doubt to arise. And then you question yourself, second guess yourself. You begin to wonder, should you be even doing this with your life? Are you wasting your time? And that's where the struggle and the, the contention arises. And that's where we again have to utilize patience, tenacity, and consistency. Because very rarely do we read about overnight successes. This is where your belief, not only in yourself, but in your abilities and that vision you had and the legitimacy of your goals, this is where you have to hold on to that belief. When there is no, nothing tangible that you can grab onto and say it's going to work. Sometimes all the indicators that surround you say it's not going to work. Give up. Go back to what you were doing. At least when you were miserable, you could pay your bills. At least when you were miserable, people respected you. At least when you were miserable, you had other outlets to numb the misery. You don't want to go back to that life. Once you discover what you were put here to do, what your hands are able to do, your mind is able to do, what you're able to say to people to bring enlightenment and encouragement into their life. Once you discover that about yourself, when you go back, to those doldrums of misery, that life of, uh, you know, it's the same thing over and over again, the monotony, the status quo, you'll never be the same because your gifts, talents, and abilities will continually call back out to you. So get down there, face your obstacles, deal with the rejection, deal with the lack of positive results, Deal with the doubts, deal with the discouragement, deal with the opposition, embrace it. Because I'm telling you, it's like a formula. All you have to do is keep at it and it'll work. Keep delivering. And when you're delivering, always, always make sure your motives are right. Whatever gifts, talents, and abilities you possess, don't use them to manipulate people. And don't let them become consumed by greed. Yeah, we all got bills to pay and we all want to make a lot of money and build a legacy, especially if we have someone to leave that legacy to. But remember, with your gifts, talents, and abilities, there's also a responsibility to humanity. So make sure your motives are right and get out there and deliver the best you can. Deliver if one person shows up or 100,000 people show up, get out there and deliver, 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 
deliver and go back and develop and sharpen and deliver. Let it be a continuous cycle of delivering whatever you have, looking at it and criticizing it and going back and developing it even more. You never want to stop that. So be ready for the challenges. But let me tell you, despite the challenges, despite the opposition, despite the obstacles, despite the pushback, despite the lack of support that you will receive, do it anyway, keep pushing. The day will come when you will look back over the struggle and the process on all those hard days and dark nights and it'll all be worth it because you will be in your zone. You will be in a position to do what you love and make money at it and make people's lives better because you do it to provide wonderful things to this world and know that when you go to bed at night, you actually made a difference, whatever it is. If it's giving a good meal to somebody, helping somebody deal with personal problems, building something for somebody, writing something to take someone's mind off their troubles, whatever you do and however you do it, just be great at it and get out there and deliver it. And don't let fear hold you back. Don't let fear cause all that development, that time you spent making yourself better go to waste. Jump over that fear, ignore uh, that, that, that tendency to become timid and shy and wanna hold back. Get out there and give it all you have. If you enjoyed our discussion today, you could read more about this and other related topics in my book, Building a Better You, Being Real, Letting Go, and Moving On. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or send me an email. Just click on the links in the description.